Hello everyone. This is a tour of the Indian mounds in Misaki County, Michigan. These mounds were built by a group of Indians called the Yams Kodesh, which translates to prairie people. There's a three foot ditch going up to a five foot tall mound that makes a 200 foot diameter circle. I'm unsure if this mound has been excavated. The mound is located on the side of a hill where the bottom of the circle dips down into the wetlands or a natural flooding area. These mounds are very overgrown. There's trees growing on the mound, in the ditch, and fallen everywhere. But the mound is still extremely noticeable. The whole time I was here, I was looking around for additional earthworks. As it said, there's multiple locations in this county. In hindsight, I really regret having walked on top of the mound as I noticed the top of it is beginning to erode. This time of year offers an excellent opportunity to see these mounds as the ground is still frozen and the foliage is all gone. From what I've gathered, a lot of people believe these mounds to be sacred and ritualistic burial grounds. There have been hordes of human remains and bones found preserved in different layers throughout the mound, indicating that the Native Americans have been burying their dead here for hundreds of years. It is said that these mounds could be related to an ancient agricultural practice where indigenous people would build heaps of organic material in natural flood areas to take advantage of anaerobic fermentation. When these piles would submerge under the water, the process of decomposition would increase drastically. In summer, when the water would recede, they would be left with an abundant source of plant available nutrients. It is said that they would then spread these piles out in little clearings and grow native plants like corn, pumpkins, and sunflowers, which they relied on as their primary source of nutrition. They would then supplement this with hunting, fishing, and gathering nuts and berries. This mound also happens to be on a south-facing hill, which is another really good indicator that it was used for agricultural purposes. Those are just my two cents though, based off things that I've heard. There could be many different types of Indian mounds ceremonial or burial ground, or advanced natural composting systems. Based on how little historical evidence we have now, we may never know for sure. I'm always excited and willing to learn more about them. So if I've made a mistake, please forgive and correct me. I found this standing water pond 100 feet from the west side of the mound. I saw no tracks, paths, or other signs of heavy machinery. <laughs> 